The Bio Nanotechnology Research Centre based in New Delhi is a joint initiative of the Energy Resources Institute of India and the Institute for Technology, Research and Innovation at Deakin University in Australia. The centre takes on the main challenge of tackling many of the major issues confronting mankind, including food and water security and health care. Terry's researchers in the Biotechnology and Management of Bioresources Division have a wealth of experience in biotech applications in pharmacology, food, agriculture and environmental areas, while researchers from ETRI bring to the centre excellence and expertise in the design and characterisation of novel nanomaterials. Five years from now, the centre will have approximately 70 researchers, including 50 PhD students enrolled at Deakin and co-supervised by Deakin and Terry staff. The centre is located at one of Terry's facilities close to the Indira Gandhi International Airport, allowing easy access for international visitors. It will be a hub for the Deakin India Research Initiative, or DIRI, that was launched in 2009. Deary involves up to a further 50 PhD students located in Indian industries or with other research partnerships and again co-supervised by leading researchers in India and Australia. The relationship between Deakin University and India is an enduring one. Deakin was the first overseas university to have a permanent office in India. That office, opened more than a decade ago, helps fulfil the prophecies of Alfred Deakin, Australia's second Prime Minister and the person after whom the university is named, about the inevitability of Australia and India working together at the intellectual level. Terry was formally established in 1974 with the purpose of tackling and dealing with the immense and acute problems that mankind is likely to face in the years ahead because of the gradual depletion of the Earth's finite energy resources, many of which create major pollution problems. As it has grown, the Institute has developed a wider interpretation of its core purposes and applications. The strength of the Institute now lies in not only identifying and articulating intellectual challenges, but also mounting research, training and demonstration projects that carry benefits to society at large. Terry has a global presence with its headquarters in India and branches in North America, Europe, Japan, Malaysia and the Gulf. For Terry, the new Bio Nanotechnology Research Centre has great potential to make significant contributions to solving critical problems shared by India and Australia. The Director General of Terry and also a Nobel Prize winner, Dr. Rajendra K. Pachori, explains the importance of the partnership with Deakin. We at Terry are very enthusiastic about working closely with Deakin University and we value and welcome this opportunity for collaborative activities because not only does this hold enormous mutual promise and benefit for both the institutions but I think it would be of great significance to humanity as a whole and we know the interest of Deakin in India and we ourselves have a growing interest in Australia so this is a remarkable way of bringing the two societies and certainly our two institutions together so we are looking forward to this collaboration greatly and I'm sure it'll be a remarkable success. With four main campuses in the Victorian cities of Geelong where it has its headquarters, Melbourne and Warrnambool, Deakin is being transformed from an award-winning teaching university to one that is now strongly research driven. It currently has around 34,000 students, many of those drawn from overseas including India. In recent times, as its reputation for cutting-edge, cross-disciplinary research has grown at the national and global levels, the university has been able to recruit a number of the world's leading researchers in a broad range of disciplines. Along with the opening of a medical school, the creation of ETRI was another milestone in the development of Deakin as a leading research organisation in Australia. Support from both the Australian and the Victorian Government for brand new state-of-the-art facilities has made it possible for Deakin and ETRI to become the preeminent research centre in Australia for advanced materials and fibres and also in robotics. Deakin University sees the combination of biotech with nanotechnology in the centre as transformative for material science. 
The partnership also exemplifies Deakin's abilities to work in general in partnerships with India on mutually beneficial programs. In summary, the new Bio Nanotechnology Research Centre in New Delhi will be a partnership that will contribute to a livable and sustainable planet for the benefits of Indians, for Australians and for the whole population of our planet, Mother Earth. <laughs>